Hi, I'm David from Authentico Paint. Today I just want to tell you about a fantastic new product we've got. It's called Volterra. Now Volterra uh, creates a look which is uh, rather like a cement finish um, or a Tadillac finish if you, if you polish it up. The sort of finishes you actually quite often see in, in swanky hotels and, uh, and places like that, but becoming more and more popular um, in the home, particularly uh, feature walls, um, or you may have possibly seen um, people who have had their bathrooms um, with concrete um, plinths and surrounds um, and they want to use a similar finish on the walls. So this is the product, Volterra, Authentico Volterra. Um, so I'm just going to show you a little bit um, about how to use it and the tools you'll need. Um, you can see behind me I've actually masked an area, so I'm just using an area. Um, but if you're doing a whole wall, you do need to mask the ceiling and skirting boards. Um, so real masking tape is essential. Um, you also need a brush um, and a trowel. Now we use a bevel edge trowel, fairly small. Um, it's probably about uh, seven or eight inches long. So they're the main two tools, um, along with some sandpaper. Um, and if you want a polished effect, then you can either use a trowel or you can actually polish it out with a polishing machine. So we'll go on to that a bit later. Um, so first things first, make sure that your wall is smooth. Uh, you don't need lumps or bumps or pimples in it, so give it a light sanding, um, just to make sure it's all really good. Um, and then you'll need to give it a coat of Authentico Velvet Paint. Now the colour should be the same colour as the uh, Volterra that you're going to be putting onto the wall. Um, just so that it gives it a little bit of base. If you're using um, it on a newly plaster wall, then we do recommend that you put a coat of Authentico Primer on first, before the velvet, and then the Volterra. So first off, I'm going to paint the wall with velvet. I've uh, painted a good, good stir, good shake, just to mix it all up. Um, and we're just going to paint on. Um, you can actually use a brush or a roller, um, whatever you prefer really. It doesn't really matter. Um, but as we've only got a small area, I'm just going to use a brush. So here we go. One thing um, you probably notice is that the, the uh, coverage of, of this type of paint is really, really good. Um, if you're rolling, quite often you do your first coat and you, you know, if you're actually painting a wall rather than using it as a base for this product, um, then quite often you roll the wall and look back and think, well, do I actually need a second coat? Um, the answer is yes, because it gives a little bit more depth to the to the colour, um, but the coverage is really, really good. So anyway, we're just going to get this on here fairly quickly. Um, it does dry pretty quickly as well, um, so we just get it on, let it dry for a bit, and then I'll come back and show you um, how to use Volterra. Um, now, Volterra, as I said, can be put on with both a brush or a trowel. Um, I actually prefer to put it on the trail, I find it's a little bit easier because um, it is an extremely thick uh, type of paint. Um, but, uh, it is really down to the individual how they prefer to use it. So I'll just carry on doing this. There we go. Right, so that's good enough for a base. Um, so we just let that dry off. Shouldn't take too long at all, um, and then we can get on with uh, putting the Volterra on. So, uh, I'll be back to you shortly. Okay, um, so we're back to using Volterra again. Um, as you can see, the base coat is now dried. It is actually touched dry within 30 minutes, and you can overcoat it within two hours. So, I have left this the full two hours. Um, as you can see, the coverage is actually really brilliant, just one coat. Um, so that was one coat of Authentico Velvet. But the same goes for any of our paints, particularly uh, for Santi, which is meant for uh, walls and ceilings. Um, and the coverage, um, the opacity of it is really good. Um, and you know, you can almost get away with one coat. You can just see on here there are a few patches. So you would do, definitely do a second coat just to uh, give it some depth. Um, but, so the base coat is all done. 
Um, next thing for us to do is to put on the Volterra. So as I said earlier, you can do Volterra either with a brush or um, with a um, spatula. So I'll show you with a brush initially. Um, so get a good dollop on there. It is quite thick, um, if you can see that. So we'll work down. So we actually want to get quite a good thick coating on, on there. Let's work it across. And so this is really where I prefer to use a trowel. Um, it is easier to get a better surface. So. Um, if you were doing a big wall, you'd also work probably with two people because um, it does dry fairly quickly and the finishing of it is actually in the, uh, the, the dried coat. Um, so let's so we'll keep on putting it on. Um, I'll just show you with the trowel as well. So just dip down here. Okay, so if we try to do um, and just This hang of it, um, once you do, you can get in the swing of it. Let's see, you get this, this. I guess it's probably sort of a millimetre thick by the time on the wall. So it's this. Okay, so that's my finished area covered. Um, now I need to let that start to go off a bit before we actually start to uh, trowel it, just to smooth it out, um, create the ridges, create the effects. Um, so I'll come back to you again shortly. Whilst this is drying, I just wanted to try and show you um, the actual surface we've created here um, and how it is actually drying. It does dry up fairly quickly, as you can see from the edges there. Um, I'll try and scan that across there so you can see the sort of finish we're getting. Um, now you'll notice in that area there that the um, background paint is actually showing through. Now normally you would use the same colour as the Volterra. Um, I've purposely used a slightly lighter shade uh, so that you can um, see anything that does come through and actually get some idea of the thickness of the Volterra needs put on. As you can see, it, it is pretty thin actually. Um, so, yeah, that gives you uh, an idea. So, we'll let that dry out and we'll come back to it and show you uh, how to polish it up and uh, do the various effects on it back shortly. So we've left the uh, Volterra to start drying. As you can see, it's uh, going slightly different colours in, in places where it's drying. So it's going it's its dark colour, so it's going lighter. Um, so now we need to start troweling. So just make sure your trowel is nice and clean. Um, and then set the trowel at about a 25 degree angle um, and just, just trowel through it, just to smooth it all off. Um, particularly so if you've used a brush, um, then you do need to trowel it to give it that smooth bit. You will possibly find that on uh, areas which haven't quite dried as much, when you trowel it, it will pull it a bit. Um, you could just trowel back over it, but it does create relief on it, so it makes it more interesting. Um, so there we go. So just get it as you like it. There is no right or wrong. Um, there's no correct finish, incorrect finish, bad finish. Um, every finish will be different, um, which brings me on to the fact that you know, if somebody sees a wall that's, that's been done in Volterra um, and says, oh yeah, lovely, I want, a, I want that in my room, remind them that you won't be able to replicate that exactly, because it's, it's going to work how, with whoever actually does it, how it's put on, how it's troweled, how it's finished. Um, so just, just bear that in mind. Um, so yeah, so we keep troweling just to get the finish you want. Um, so this will be more for a, a concrete look. Um, and once it's dried, I will then show you some of the techniques uh, to make it into more of a polished concrete look. So this should be sort of fairly um, rough and ready if you like, I suppose. Um, so we'll just keep doing that until, you, until you're happy with it, really. Until you like what you see, the textures on it. Um, I think for me that's, that's probably about it. Uh, looking across it, yeah, hopefully let's pull that down a little bit. Okay, so yeah, so that will do for me for the time being. We're going to let that dry. Um, you'll see, I'll show you the sort of relief it leaves when it's dried and obviously the colour it goes. 
And then we'll look at um, the further finishes you can do um, to further polish it, uh, sand it if you want slightly matte surface, um, and then actually using a buffer to buff it as well. So come back to you soon. So here we are, the uh, Volterra is now dried. So this is like a very natural concrete look. Um, but we can do other effects on it. So by taking the trowel, um, we can actually start to polish it with the, the flat surface. And this will accentuate um, any um, sort of imperfections in the uh, finish you've made, um, which will bring them up slightly darker. So this gives, you can also do this when it's uh, not quite as dry as this, um, give more of a, a polished effect all over. So I don't know if you can actually see that, but we've got a slight sort of shimmer in places. Um, we can also um, sand it. So we're using, um, this is 600 grit uh, paper. Um, so if you're not happy, you want to smooth it down a little bit, you can actually sand away. And you see that's changing the effect of it quite dramatically. It is pretty dusty. Um, you should probably be wearing a mask when you actually do this as well. Just for the purpose of this, I'll stop breathing. So, it's actually changing the effect of it and smoothing it all out. Good mark on muscles for this one. See, I'm just sort of using a swirling motion on this. Um, so that's changed the effect of it again slightly. And we can go one step further and actually uh, buff it. So using a buffing machine, um, I've actually got a proper polishing mop, but you can just use a buffing head on a, um, a orbital drill, do the same thing. So here we go. As you can see this material, Altera, mineral based, is very workable. Um, as I said before, there is no right or wrong to the the type of finish you get, it's really up to the individual um, what they're looking for. Um, but it's quite good just to experiment. So there we go, and it's actually quite a nice smooth finish there. Yes, looking pretty good actually, so quite like that. Um, it is actually slightly, slightly matte, that's not actually polishing up totally. So you can keep on going. Um, it can also be sealed if you want to seal it. It does change the colour slightly um, using Autentico Sealer. Um, or you could even try some uh, white polish on it as well. So uh, there we have it, um, our concrete wall. Thank you. Right, I just want to show you some close up um, of the actual finish. You can see the shimmer there, um, and how the texture actually changes, the look of it. And this is actually using a Volterra French grey from Authentico. Um, so there we go, that's the final finish I've created.